ELW 644, Although I Speak with Angel's Tongue. Today, I have a quote from an email from Andrew Donaldson, uh, the man who wrote the text uh, for this hymn in the ELW. And he says why he wrote this hymn. It was for reasons theological and practical. Here are his words. He's 69 years old now. Theological. Paraphrasing and setting biblical texts has always been part of my work as a church musician. Practical, the task force for the revision of the Presbyterian Church in Canada's Book of Praise that came out in 1997 was looking for a paraphrase of 1 Corinthians 13 that could be sung to the English folk tune, O Whaley Whaley. For various reasons, existing versions were not proving suitable, and so I wrote, Although I Speak. In accordance with our editorial practice, I submitted it without my name attached and it was added to the seemingly bottomless pool of possible texts. This is coming from an email from Andrew Donaldson in 2009. But he also says that to keep the biblical text from being, as he says, wrenched from its scriptural context, he used some of 1 Corinthians 12, 12 to 13, as the last stanza of the hymn. So you see here the gifts are many, the body one. In order to place the familiar text, into the context of the whole baptized body. 
And so that's wonderful, and that's why often we will see this hymn as a communion hymn for Reformation Sunday, because it certainly fits when you tie in the baptized body into the text. The folk tune, of course, was collected by Cecil Sharp, a whaley whaley. He lived from 1859 to 1924. He collected it in his collection, Folk Songs from Somerset, was founded in that 1906 book. Uh, so thank you very much for listening to Hymn of the Week. Uh, have a great week.